The Pentagon's inspector general is launching a review after it was revealed Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin made secret visits to the hospital. The review will focus on policies to make sure there's an effective transfer of power and duties. On Tuesday, the Pentagon announced Austin is being treated for prostate cancer. He had surgery in December. Before the surgery, Austin transferred some of his authorities to his deputy, but neither she nor the White House knew he was in the hospital. Austin went to the hospital again on New Year's Day and then was put in the ICU. Right now, he is still in the hospital. Here to explain what this could mean for us and for Austin is our 9 News legal analyst, Whitney Trailer. Whitney, good morning. Good morning. Well, first, how serious is it that the president wasn't even aware of Secretary Austin's condition? I think it's abundantly serious. The more that I've looked into this, the, the, I'm shocked at what happened. I mean, essentially, this is, I mean, this is our highest civilian on our defense side, and he is in the nuclear chain of command, or at least chain of communication. There's ways to essentially kind of get through that, but this is such an important post, and it's shocking that, that folks didn't know for several days. And you said in the lead in, Corey, about uh, the deputy, uh, his deputy, Kathleen Hicks. She didn't know, but some of his duties were actually passed on to her. She didn't know why. Apparently, that's not necessarily unusual, where some uh, duties will be passed on and you don't exactly know why. But his uh, chief of staff was apparently also sick. And uh, Secretary or Deputy uh, Secretary Kathleen Hicks was in Puerto Rico at the time. So she did have her communications with her, but folks, if they're with, with everything going on right. in the world mm -hmm. and, and the way that we're spread out militarily, wow, this was, uh, this was major. Right, we're involved Very in scary. two wars right, right. now yes. in Ukraine and then, of course, what's happening with Israel yeah. too. So I right. think it's pretty severe. Yeah. So did he break the law? Well, that's a great question, and I, I don't have a definitive answer. The inspector general is doing an investigation that may take a month to determine that. Obviously, a lot of folks, Republicans and Democrats, are saying this was a dereliction of duty and a breach in the chain of command. There is one law that, that governs vacancies that said if there's a vacancy because of sickness, death, or, or other things, that Congress has to be informed immediately, and that obviously didn't happen. And some are saying that in some instances, not only top uh, administrative aides, top executive aides, but even our allies should know, or some of our key allies should know some of this. I mean, it's really on that level. So we're going to find out if it's a, if it's a, a, an actual violation of the law. Certainly politically, it has serious ramifications. Yeah. yeah. But legally, whether something can happen and whether it even gets to that point, I know the Republicans are pushing for impeachment, but whether it gets to a, a, a legal issue or not, this is still, I would suspect somebody's going to be resigned or be terminated. On that point that you mentioned where Republicans yeah. are mentioning impeachment, is there any merit to an impeachment or would that just be partisan politics? Right. Well, that was my first instinct was that, okay, this is partisan politics and we really want to be careful of any time somebody makes a move that they're going to be facing impeachment because then that's going to have a chilling effect. Mm -hmm. Nobody is going to want to do anything. Here, this is so serious that I, I don't know that it will need to get to impeachment because I think there will either be resignations or, or, or replacement or something. And I'm not predicting that, that th that's going to happen. The president has indicated he's got all the trust in the world in him. Uh, the, the Secretary Austin is uh, I incredibly... Um, well respected and and people don't question his skills but there's a real question about his judgment here and it's known as I did my research he's known to be very private mm -hmm. he's known as the the quiet general if you if you will but here this is this is significant and even if you're private and I don't I think there's going to be a hearing there should be a congressional hearing to get to the bottom of this because I don't know if it was such an emergency situation that his chief of staff is sick deputies out of you know out of town I don't know how this happened. Maybe it was a perfect storm, but this was a real lapse in judgment mm -hmm. if he was in a position to make that judgment. I don't know the level, you know, was he conscious? Was he, you know, all these questions have to be answered. Yeah, clearly a lot more to come on this as they look into it further. Whitney, as always, thank you so much for coming in. Really appreciate it. Good to be here.